So uh, I'm going to talk about high and peak. Um, the two ways of doing one thing or one way of doing two things. Is it so similarities or the differences between the two systems? Um, so what uh, what makes me qualified to talk about this is that uh, I work on these softwares. Um, so one point I want to, so I started with PEG and then later moved on to Hive and um, working on these systems. Uh, so I, I want to like pause and comment on that uh, um, co uh, comment in the earlier uh, session about the, uh, the the team of 250 people cannot write a so software in the open source world. So I am the one, the open source guy. <laughs> so if some of you think that it cannot be done, like please talk to me. <laughs> I want to make this happen. Uh, we have done it in the past and we can do it again, I guess. Um, so uh, two ways of doing the same thing. So how are these uh, similar? Like the, the, the first thing that I want to talk about. Um, so both of these systems uh, are generate like map reduce jobs from the query uh, written in the higher level language. So from within the system side of things, when you are building it, they look very much similar. Both of these frees users from like knowing all the nitty gritty details of map reduce and HDFS, like how to do map side joins, when to use combiners and all of that. So the users don't have to care about that. So they provide similar functionality and they look very much similar from the inside, but they are different. And the difference is from the outside. So if you look of these systems from the end user perspective, the users deal with the language, right? And the language is very different. So PIG comes with this PIG Latin language, which is like procedural and data flow language, whereas Hive is more declarative and uh, SQL-ish language. So here is a hello world example uh, for both of these systems to like print out the uh, rows in the system. So they look different. This difference in language actually uh, resulted in uh, adoption by different user communities. So what I have found is that PIG is more popular among programmers and researchers, um, whereas Hive uh, is more popular among analysts. What, so how, how does that make a difference? So these users then use these systems to achieve different things. So th this results in different usage patterns. So programmers uh, are like the people who are like writing these complex data pipelines um, where the each stage of the pipeline uh, is achieving different things. Right, um, feeding into other pipelines and stuff like that. The researchers are doing like ad hoc analysis, uh, employing uh, machine learning algorithms to uh, drive the deep insights from these uh, data sets. Whereas the hive is more uh, usually uh, used by the analyst, like who generates the daily reports, like how are my sales doing in the North America on a daily basis and stuff like that. And they want to slice and dice it according to different levels. So these are the people who are more familiar with SQL language and they want to stick there. So that's what they use it for. Um, another way is that uh, these two systems can still coexist uh, in an enterprise world wherein you collect the data, you run them through this data factory, um, the, uh, through different pipelines which enrich the data in different sets, in a different ways and then eventually you load them into the Hive uh, warehouse. Um, then you can like run your queries here, your uh, the users and an analyst can directly write the queries. Um, this is like the one way to think about this, um, this stuff. Like it's not like one versus the other, like both of them can coexist and are meant for different purposes. Um, and lastly, I want to talk about a bit about like how this, this difference in usage pattern is, is uh, uh, driving the future directions of these uh, softwares. So um, the Hive is whether it's a database, that was the discussion. So what we have seen is it is people are expecting it at least to be a database. So they are asking for it to be compatibility with other systems and people are, uh, the community is working towards that. So that obviously is achieved through ODBC and GDBC interfaces. Uh, so there's a push towards that. Um, whereas the pig on the other hand is evolving more towards a language of its own. So we recently added support for embedding pig in a uh, language like Python. Um, but people are asking for like uh, the, uh, the if and while loops and control structures. And, and then es essentially the users are the end users. That, so they're asking for the better dev environment like debugger, linters, editors, and stuff like that. 
So I'll be available at the um, outside for the further discussions if you want. Thank you.